have any uh, predictions for the upcoming election? Sure. What do you think is going to happen? Uh, McCain Palin by 51.2% and a shocking recovery and winning by three electoral votes. And do you believe that that's going to be because of forced balancing? Of course. No. Unless China or Israel decides they'd rather have Barack, I'm not sure. I mean, they, no, they have some significant interests here. Or, frankly, you may end up in a situation like down in Florida where you had three precincts that had, you know, in the special election they ran out there recently, only two people in the ballot, candidate A and candidate B. They had about 500 people come in and vote. One candidate got 210 votes and one candidate got none. And so now they're sitting there in front of a judge saying, whoa. Does a candidate B, can we assume that everybody who went in that voting booth voted for either A or B? They go, well, this is, what, this is what the machine is telling us, so we have to believe it. It's like, I don't believe it. Now, was it a programming mistake? Maybe. Was it an error? Maybe. Was it a machine failure? Maybe. Was it hacking? Maybe. We don't know. Now, and we can't know. There, there, there's been reports uh, you know, to us that maybe there's already been some network set up to manipulate the election in, in a certain number of states, uh, six or eight. By which side? Uh, Both sides? Well, I'm just asking you. I mean, maybe, it's, maybe the Green Party is following a win. I mean, have you? Bob Barr. Bob Barr is an interesting technologist. Do you believe that, that that's happening or possible, or have you heard anything? Do I believe it's possible? I, I, I think the 25 hours of YouTube video at this point, apparently, with me talking about this, which, frankly, I haven't watched all but about two minutes because someone forced me to. Yes, it's possible. This is what I deal with every day is people setting up. They're called MIMS, called man in the middle. That's the process of attack. We deal with it every day in the credit card space. Somebody will set up a MIM at the end of a mall. All the transmissions coming out of the mall will get intercepted. They'll strip out the credit card information they want. They'll make white cards or fraudulent cards or do card not present charges on the web. Then we have to clean it up, find the damn thing, pull it out and go and try and track the guys down. I do it every day for a living. And you want to know something? If people think a voting machine that calls into a tabulator somewhere in the county office is any different than all those cash registers calling into the central processor, it's the same thing. And yes, if you put a man in the middle attack, a computer sitting in the middle to change or capture or manipulate the information, it will do so. Is it possible? Yeah. Is it probable? Of course. Do you think it will It's happen? valuable to be president. There's people out there spending billions trying to become the president. It's valuable. If you can steal it for a couple million bucks, why not? And do you think that it will happen? Yes. I don't believe the last two presidential elections were accurately counted or decided. I don't. So, what other than paper ballots? What should people look for? How can we stop this? What, what do you not understand about paper ballots counted by hand by public witnesses? Old technology, believe it or not, is the best solution in many cases. And if you want to anonymize the identity, the other, the only way. The only way to make electronic voting secure is to not have it be anonymous ballot. If you say, this is my name, Stephen Smore, this is my ballot, and I will assure that it is correct, then you can do that. But then you have the problem of vote buying and retaliation for the way people voted. If you want to have an anonymous vote, you need to have a hardened piece of something of substance to physically not be changeable. Digital information held inside of a circuit and transmitted through a network is inherently changeable. And because it's anonymous, you cannot validate it. Period. No solution exists. Stop it. So if you are paper ballots, uh, hand counted. I know only you, thing that works. I know you